Okay, this is uh, video four. Um, I'm starting to sort of get into details now, so uh, I dropped in an eye, just appended uh, a sphere, use a transpose tool to drop it in, uh, and then I'm just sort of uh, carving out some eye sockets here. Um, just trying to figure out, you know, what kind of eyes I want to give him, because I didn't want it to be all vicious looking and stuff, I kind of wanted it to look a bit gentle. Um, so I later go on to sort of uh, build uh, some sort of saddle for him or maybe some sort of like throne on top of his back uh, it's just in uh, I don't know cause I've, I've been watching some Lord of Rings stuff and uh, I just had the idea of this guy or something riding him you know it's like a, his form of transportation I thought it would be pretty cool so I didn't want him to look all like evil and shit with the sort of crazy triangular shaped eyes uh, uh, and here I'm just trying to think about what sort of detail I want on this big sort of you know chin thing that he's got going on uh, I'm not quite sure what that is yet I'm thinking about actually it doesn't really integrate very well into his body um, now that I look at it uh, during after this sort of pass it just looks like it's been slapped on and it just looks very awkward I think is a good way to describe it so uh, I'm thinking about making it into some kind of uh, rib cage type thing you know just like a bones with kind of drapey skin over it uh, so I'm probably going to try that out next but uh, the details are all looking kind of weird to be honest with you at this point I'm really sort of 50-50 uh, with what I've got. I also had some problems here with uh, pinching in some certain areas. Uh, so I had to sort of uh, fight that a little bit, smoothing them out. So I sometimes get really deep holes and I have to... Yeah, if you've ever had that problem, then just try and smooth the inside a little bit. And it kind of sorts it out. Um, here I am defining the shoulder blades. Oh, the deltoids. He's got, he's got kind of weird delts. Um, I like the shape of um, shoulder muscles when they sort of... Uh, I don't know. There's that really specific curvature that looks nice. And I was just trying to get that as well as trying to make them a bit more interesting. So I started adding all this sort of uh, crisscrossy, sort of liney detail along them. Um which I think needs uh, a lot of work uh, to make them look good. Uh, I was just, I don't know, I, I really strive to uh, like achieve a whole different level of detail in my stuff now. Now that I have this new computer and you know I can just I can push and pull a lot more polygons than I used to uh, without the uh, the hindrance of hardware lag. So uh, yeah, it's. I'm just thinking about what I can do to make this more impressive and to be honest with you, uh, I probably should go in with like slash three or something. It just looks a bit, I don't know, it looks weird because nothing else is at that level of detail yet apart from the shoulder bit there so it might just be that but I don't know. I mean, I've got to the point now where I always sort of second guess myself as well. Um, it's like, you know, you just don't think your work's good enough and stuff. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, Zebus crashed, but fortunately uh, the recovery system um, didn't make me lose any work, so that was nice. Uh, I really did shit myself at that point. I thought I'd lost all, of <laughs> all that sculpting work, but nah. Zebus did its job. So, just doing a bit of bicep here. Carrying on the theme from his shoulder. Trying to make a kind of more interesting uh, but I think the uh, the details on the bicep and the shoulder I need uh, a lot more work uh, they didn't really like it to be honest uh, just refining some of this sort of pec area back onto the bicep uh, it's using a combination of uh, clay build up and uh, H polish brush I think yeah. uh, I think H, H polish is good for really sort of uh, just smoothing out the, the sort of surface you're going to sculpt on um, just getting the curvature a bit more 
sort of nicer than it is when you, you know, the brush lines that you've left behind, so I often do that sometimes if, I, if I'm trying to make something look streamlined and stuff like that. But other than that, it's just uh, clay build up. Using Alpha 12 now for that sort of more skinny, skin detail kind of look. It's more gruesome than the. Uh, I don't know, I think the uh, square Alpha looks a bit weird when you try to do skin. It leaves too many marks behind, but uh, Alpha 6 is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, a lot of the same really. Try to make all the edges look nice and sharp when it sort of um, switches planes. You know, it goes underneath that tricep. Trying to make it look like it actually does. Uh, add in some detail on the triceps here, Just using brush lines and stuff like that. Just trying to make it look really tight. I guess it's kind of like sculpting cloth in a way, but more extreme. Uh, I think these sort of details require uh, a certain sort of skill level, uh, which I don't think I've sort of mastered yet. Um, I don't know, sometimes they look really weird, sometimes I think they work up a lot better, but I don't know. I'm just trying to make it look kind of intimidating a little bit, you know, with all this detail over him. It's just not something you often see. But I might change the biceps of areas to more like the triceps when it's more sort of stringy kind of lines. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it, really. I think I finished the tricep up. I'm not too sure if I do. Um, I'm not sure where I got to in this video. I sort of go over the surface area of the other uh, forearms as well. Um, just try to make. Um, look a bit more solid uh, in terms of their mass because I think the brush strokes the brush strokes from the uh, the lower sort of subdivisions they they are a lot bigger because yeah, I was using a bigger brush so uh, I just went over them with a smaller brush to sort of pan out the detail a little bit oh actually I think I goes on to the uh, do the yeah I do the chest a little bit just making these lines a bit more tighter and uh, just a little bit more sort of aesthetically pleasing I need to redo this as well because uh, it's not as good as I want it to be. Uh, I quite I quite like the shape of the chest on this character. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, but you can tell now when I finish off. Well, I sort of add a bit more detail into this uh, sort of chest detail here, and it just doesn't look sort of right. I think because of all the uh, the lines and stuff on the chest are so sort of organized and they're based off you know normal human muscle that I think you just your brain automatically accepts that to be good because it's it's used to seeing something like that but the the detail on the chest that triangular detail just looks a bit of a mess so uh probably need to sort of redo that a little bit reshape it into something more recognizable uh something a bit more sort of just like I say aesthetically pleasing when it is. It just looks, you know, a bit shite. <laughs> to be honest. And that's pretty much it. I did some more refinery on these thing biddings. front end starting to look like something that's pretty much it <laughs>